Thomas, someone's at the door. Robert Vernon stood in the study of his massive home in his tech night gear with his face shield up, looking through a book. Thomas, why aren't you? Oh, shit. <laughs> Vernon ran from the room and down the hall. Halfway down the hall to the main doors, Vernon realized he was wearing all his tech night gear. He stopped and started trying to pull it off. Coming! Be right there! Christ! Having gotten most all of it, Vernon quickly opened the nearby closet door and, grabbing a robe, Coming! tried to shove all the dark blue body armor and jetpack into the hall closet. He quickly tried to shut the door and turned and jogged for the front door while putting on the robe, unaware that the door came back open and stayed slightly ajar. Um, hello? Robert Vernon opened the door to see a tall man and a short man, although both wore the same black overcoat. The taller had dark hair and wore a slight smirk, whereas the shorter wore a green hoodie under his coat with the hood flapped over the back collar of the overcoat and a reddish-brown goatee and mustache. His hair cut close to his head and had a frown but stern look to him. The taller, dark-haired man gave a slight tilt to his head. Morning, Gav. You wouldn't happen to be the tech knight by any chance. What? Don't mind if we come in, do you, Squire? Butcher brushed past Vernon and continued through the entryway and down the hall Vernon had just come. Huey slowly followed. What? Wait, what did you call me? Vernon looked out the front door and, seeing the slightly idling taxi, quickly looked to the two men walking down by the slightly ajar closet door. Uh, I, I, I'm not the, the uh, tech knight or whatever you... Look, you can't just walk in here. Library. Butcher and Huey came to a stop just inside the library. Vernon right behind them. Alphabetical. That's handy. Say P, P, P. Butcher crossed to a section of shelves and eyed a particular book. Bingo. Look, I, I don't know what the hell you think you're doing, but I, I'm not... Are you not listening? I'm not... Upon picking the book... The Purloined Letter and Other Stories by Edgar Allan Poe, the section of bookshelves shifted and spun backwards to reveal a wide tread spiral staircase going down. Well, it is true. You never know what you're going to find if you just pick up a book. Butcher placed the book on another shelf and headed down the staircase. As Butcher descended with Huey and Vernon following, he looked up the shaft to see most likely more hidden doors to other parts of the mansion. About six years ago, one of your mates in payback, Eagle the Archer, got coked off his tits and beat his girlfriend into a coma. I kept it a secret, and in exchange, he told me everything he knew about every one of his teammates, right down to the smallest detail. Jesus. Butcher entered the tech cave and swung his head in awe as he continued across the floor. Cool. Now this is knees up, this is. Got all your toys oiled and ready, eh? Butcher crossed to a wall of monitors and a high back swivel chair and sat. He spun in the chair and, coming to rest, facing Vernon as Huey stared over at the gear and occasional items with holes bored into them. Who... who are you people? You've had enough shocks for one day, mate. We've got a couple of questions we want to ask you. About what? Not what, mate. Who? A little mate of yours 